Hey Trailblazers, and welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to guide for building smarter Salesforce experiences without writing a single line of code. If you're just joining us, here's the vibe. We take Trailhead modules and turn them into real-world practical solutions you can use today. And in this walkthrough, we're bringing real-time customer support to life by setting up web chat inside the Lightning Service Console. This feature allows support agents like Ada Balewa and her team at Ursa Major Solar to chat live with customers directly from the company's website. Quick responses, smooth conversations, and fewer support delays. We'll guide you step-by-step step to set it all up and test it out. Let's dive in. By the end of this session, you'll know how to create a web chat queue, assign your agents, embed the chat code on a web page, and configure everything behind the scenes, from omni-channel routing to omni-supervisor monitoring. You'll even run a full test chat using a custom Visual Force page. There's a lot to cover, but we'll move through it together, one step at a time. Let's kick things off by starting the chat setup flow. From service setup, click the gear icon and head into the recommended setup. Click view all and scroll until you see chat with customers then hit start. Give your queue a name, Ursa Major Solar Chat, and call your agent group, Chat Agent. You'll assign Ada Balewa and yourself as the initial agents. Click next to continue. If you land on the prioritize chats with your other work screen, set the priority to one, leave the default values for work item size and agent capacity and keep moving forward. In the website URL box, type HTTPS force.com. Next, in the Salesforce site domain field, enter your initials directly followed by today's date, written as two digits for the month, two for the day, and two for the year. When prompted, accept the terms of use, choose service as your chat type, enable offline support, and require the subject field. Once everything looks good, click through the steps and hit done. That completes the first setup flow. Now, let's grab the code to make this chat feature visible on your website. Back in service setup, search for embedded service deployments. You'll see your newly created deployment. Click the arrow next to chat agent, then choose view. Scroll down to embedded service code snippets and click get code. Hit copy to clipboard and paste it somewhere safe like a text editor. This is the snippet you'll add to your test page later. With your chat component ready to go, it's time to power it up using Omnichannel. Open Setup, then search for App Manager. Locate your app, Ursa Major Solar Service Console. Click the dropdown and select Edit. On the left side, click Utility Items, then click Add Utility Item and select Omnichannel. Once it's added, click Save and exit the editor. Now let's make sure it's working. Head to the app launcher, open the service console, and click Omnichannel at the bottom of the screen. Change your status to available, chat, and just like that, you're ready to receive chat requests. Now, let's make things easier for managers and team leads by enabling Omni Supervisor, a tool that gives real-time insight into chat activity and agent performance. From setup, search for supervisor settings, and enable all four checkboxes. Conversation monitoring, agent sneak peek, customer sneak peek, whisper messaging. Click Save. To add Omni Supervisor to your console, open the app, click the drop down next to your current navigation tabs, and choose Edit. Click Add More Items, then the plus icon next to Omni Supervisor. Add the nav item, click Save, and you're done. Supervisors now have full visibility into queues, agent workload, and ongoing conversations right from their console. Let's switch gears and set up a Visual Force page to test your chat experience. Go back to Service Setup, search for Visual Force Pages, and click New. Fill in the following Label, Web Chat. Name, Web Chat. Description, Ursa Major Solar's test website for Web Chat. Replace the default code with this snippet, say, 
copy and paste in your saved code snippet where indicated. Click Save. If you misplace the code, no worries. Just go back to your embedded service deployment, open it and click Get Code again. Before you begin testing, make sure the browser won't block your chat page by adding it to the CORS allow list. In Setup, search for CORS and open the result. Click New. In the URL box, type, copy and paste the URL. It's provided in the brief. Once done, hit Save. Now we're ready to test. Open two browser tabs. In one, launch the service console. In the other, head back to Visual Force Pages and click the export icon next to your web chat page to preview it. Click the start chat button, fill in the fields, first name, Jack, last name, Rogers, then click start chatting. Back in the console tab, you'll see the chat request come through in omnichannel. Accept the chat, send a few messages back and forth, and end the session when you're ready from either side. Just like that, you've set up a fully functional live web chat experience in your service console. Let's recap the key wins from this module. While you verify your steps, you created a web chat queue and assigned agents. You generated and embedded a live chat snippet. You enabled Omnichannel for chat routing. You configured Omni Supervisor for real-time monitoring and you tested the full chat flow with a custom Visual Force page. Now, Ada and her team have the tools they need to support customers in real time with speed, visibility, and ease. If this tutorial helped you bring live chat to life in your Salesforce org, give us a like and share your thoughts in the comments. What should we walk through next? And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next hands-on guide from the Declarative Academy. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it